As students prepare to head back to the classroom later this month, one school is getting some much needed work done inside its building, and it's all part of Revival Baltimore's efforts to support student success and assist the community. Amy Kawada shares the details behind the project. Students, teachers, and staff at Tench Tillman Elementary Middle School in East Baltimore will soon set their eyes on a newly renovated kitchen and laundry room. We have serious budget shortfalls. There are so many things we would like to do for the kids and the stakeholders that come into these schools, but we just don't have the money. It's all thanks to a partnership between Revival Baltimore and Lowe's. We can see that Baltimore City schools are in need of additional support. That's why about a dozen volunteers have been hard at work since Monday, providing a much needed upgrade valued at $7,100. We saw that the kitchen and the laundry room was very outdated and some of the equipment didn't work at all. For the past year, Jason Bass with Revival Baltimore says a personal connection sparked an ongoing relationship with the school. But when they walk in and they say, wow, I don't have to worry about getting my uniform clean every day or look at this in the cafeteria in the kitchen. Look at this. I never saw this. This is something that excites kids and for us, that, that's what it's all about. The goal is to invest in our community's future while providing a safe and welcoming environment for children. If we're not going back to the, the beginning, right, of the elementary and middle school experience and helping to shape and mold that demographic, then how can we expect anything different in the next few years? You know, hopefully this creates an experience and a pipeline for people to be in a better, better space. Renovations are expected to be completed by the end of the week, and Revival Baltimore officials say they plan and to maintain its partnership with Tench Tillman throughout the future and are also in the works of planning a field trip program for its students. For now, reporting in Baltimore City, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.